what's the difference between like a will and a trust and, and which one should, uh, should people kind of go for? Well, that's always a threshold question. And during seminars, which we give uh, every month, oh. usually anywhere from two to 10 per month all over the city, wow. we talk about that. And uh, what we try to educate people about is wills don't avoid probate, even really well-written wills, trusts do. So there are two sets of books on the shelf, if you will, in a lawyer's office, will planning and trust planning. We like the trust planning books, so we help our clients plan to avoid courts, mm -hmm to avoid the costs connected with courts, the delays connected with courts, yeah. and the law, the law allows us to plan avoiding courts. And if probate court judges were truthful, they would want everybody to plan with trust because they wouldn't have so much to do. Sure, uh, makes sense. The thing is, though, I, now that you've explained it to me that way, I'm like, I'm with you, a trust all the way. So I'll just flip that over then. Why would someone pick a will? What are the, what are the advantages to that? Some people must do it for some reason, right? Well, some folks are uh, interested in keeping things very simple. And, you know, the old phrase, all I want is a simple will. Mm -hmm. Well, some folks, that's all they want. And they may know that there are options or better ways to go, but they elect not to take that path. Because it's just easier to do the will and then just, mm, I, now I'm Sure, done. sure. Okay. Oh, I attempt to persuade them into something a little bit more caring for the family or a little bit more trust-oriented, but hey, everybody chooses what they want and that's the way it goes.